Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Javon Show. My name is Javon, and for the foreseeable future, I will be going by Javon. Pleased to have in our virtual studio today the assistant director for New Generation Chorale of Chicago, better known right now as New G, but us old folks know the full name. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you right now and bring him on into the virtual studio, Mr. Larry Jones. How you doing, Larry? What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it is a pleasure to finally have you on the show today, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Glad to be here, man. You're thank glad you to for, be in the thank, service? Thank, I'm, I'm glad to be in the service. <laughs> Just one more time? Yes, one more time. Uh, we're glad to have you here, sir. So for those who are unfamiliar with the man, the myth, the legend, um, please let us know, let the audience know, who is Larry Jones Jr.? Oh, man. Um, to be honest with you, Yvonne, he's nobody. He's a guy, number one, that uh, loves the Lord. I love music. I love I love choir music, I love directing, I love singing, you know, I love teaching, I love um, perfecting choirs. That's just been my, that's been my thing since I was five years old. Even, you know, I've been directing choirs since I was five years old and teaching since I was about 13, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's pretty much who I am. I'm a, um, I'm a church boy to the heart. You know, I don't I don't do too much, but listen to music, gospel music all day, you know, uh, try to find out who I can teach songs to and what workshops I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that that's me. I, you know, uh, music is a great part of my life. And mm -hmm. that's that's you know, that's it. Now, um, you leave out the fact that you just so happen to be the assistant choir master of one of the most popular <laughs> choirs and gospel music. When did you join New Generation or New G? Let's see. I, uh, um, 1988. 1988. Two 19... years, I believe, before the first album came out or was that around the first album? No, it was before the album came out. Yeah. And um, how did you hook up with New G? Uh, well, you know, I was actually, Ricky had started a choir and, um, I was actually on my way downtown. I just graduated from high school and mm -hmm. I was on the train going downtown and I saw Ricky on the train. And uh, he said, he said, hey, what you doing? What you doing now? Because he had uh, a few years ahead of that, I, had, uh, I was over a choir called the Thornton Singers at Thornton High School and we had a concert uh, one year, and I invited Tyrone Block and LSD. And Ricky was a part of uh, that singing group at a time, and so he came and heard the choir. So he saw me on the train a few years later. He's like, he asked me, hey, are you still singing with um, Tyrone Dickerson? At that time, I was with the choir called the Christian Community, uh, Christian Fellowship, I'm sorry, Christian Fellowship, Tyrone Dickerson, and I was singing with them. That was like from 84, 85, up until like, you know, 80, 88, something like that. And I said, well, no, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not with them, but I am with them. You know, I was in that in-between phase. I just graduated high school. I didn't know what I was going to do, if I was going to stay here, if I was going to leave. So I was like in between. And um, he said, well, I, I started a choir. I said, oh, okay. He said, why don't you come? <laughs> Why don't you come, you know, to one of my rehearsals? Why don't you come to the rehearsal? And I was like, okay, cool. And pretty much that's that's it. He invited me to the to the choir. I was on the train. He invited me to rehearsals. I went to rehearsal. And that was it. Our first, my first, I mean, they had a couple of gigs before, uh, before then, but our first major gig was we entered the McDonald Inn choir competition sure. and and that was my first time on stage with them so you can say i've actually i mean i came before i came like maybe within seven months of him starting the choir so i've pretty much been there from the very beginning the very beginning and, and I've been there from the very beginning yep 
Now, some marriages don't last that long. How are you and Ricky <laughs> able to, and I'm not just talking about Matt, but um, how are you all able to, to, to keep that going, that connection going when, um, you know, it's hard with when egos and when money and when fame comes, how have you all been able to keep it together? Well, you know, Ricky, he, he's, he's easy to love, man. He's just easy to love. And, uh, when you, I'll say this, when you love what you do, it's not, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. And there's never been any ego problems. There's never been any, any fallout because truth be told, I still have my own, you know, life. I still was my churches. I still had, you know, um, I was still working with Thorn Singers at that time. Cause I didn't stop working with, with them until like 95, 96, even though I had graduated, I still was going back to the school teaching them. So I was still with them for maybe a whole nother seven to eight years after I left the school. So I still had them. I still had my church. I still had my own situation going on. So it never really clashed, you know, and he and I just, just meshed. And I know people say things like, it don't seem like it's been that long or seem like it was just yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest with you, I can't, I can't tell you where the years went, Javon. I really can't. I, I just can't. I just, I just know, you know, I'm looking up now and I'm like 32 years. Yeah. Are you kidding me? How, 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 how I'm only 30. So how could that, <laughs> you know, how, <laughs> And you know, and, I, you know, I had to do that because you know you're such a you're such a jokester. So I had to throw in a joke some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? I'm, so I'm trying to keep this extremely <laughs> professional and straight laced. Now, you you aren't as young as you used to be. I remember when you yeah. start with uh, New Generation, and I remember you know this video right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's the hearing my <laughs> me. And I was I was I was I was 26 then. 26 years old and, you know, on a major, you know, what's Malico Records. So this is a major project um, yes. and you got some Sangas going at it in this song oh, right yeah. here. And oh, we yeah. look forward to today, which the release of Choir Master. And, yes. you know, you've got a lead on the, uh, so glad to be in the service. You've yes. got the directing with um, Lillian. I got to yes. know. When you're told that you're going to be directing a Lillian song, do you immediately start buying stock in um, like Powerade and and, and <laughs> the five hour energy? <laughs> you just take a quick shot, have it underneath the rope. You know, I, I just I just get out there and just do it. It's, it's it it you never you never feel it till after it's over. Mm. You, you never you never feel it till it's over. You know, and yeah, I'm not as young as I used to be, but right. uh, I, I don't feel it. You know, you I don't feel it. I don't, I don't, huh? And you don't look it either. I think it's that, that vampire in you. You just it's, see, you know, getting going, right? It's only, it's, it's only this, uh, it's only this, this gray hair, this court quarantine, <laughs> this quarantine hair that's, that's given away, you know. Um, I'm sorry. Look. Looks like somebody calling in. Um, caller, you're on the air. Who are you? What would you like to say? Hey, today? hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? Elder Steven. What's um, up, man? This person who's interrupting our chat today, who are you and what do you do? He's a pest. Uh, That's what he is. He's a pest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blessed. Listen, I I'll agree. He's a vampire. He, he aged not. And um, <laughs> no, like low key for real. Like, um, what can I say about this vessel? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Put me together. I don't want to get full on you because I'm going to talk about you real good. No, real talk. Oh, um, Larry Jones, he has been an inspiration in um, my directing um, and even how I even started approaching the church. So, you know, because we come from the grand old church of God and Christ. Hey. And so, so when we <laughs> hand clapping, foot stomping. So um, the first time I heard him sing, um, 
I was like, I want to approach music like that. Now, I'm going to give it away because I never told him this. I, I was like, I get him because, you know, we're about the same height. <laughs> the body to crack a short joke is going to be a problem. But we the same height. And so, you know, <laughs> I, I was at a concert and New G got up to sing. And I'm about to take you back, Larry. Y'all had on the green and yellow robes. Oh, my God. It was like right after work that I came out. And, and y'all, y'all came. Y'all, I was at a concert. And I was like, man, I want to sing with this choir. And, and man, I saw you come out. And I was like, this dude is a problem. And I said, you like me. And every choir, we the shortest ones on the front row. And so, so, but, 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 um, but man, you know, always been an inspiration, man. And he just been a, a dope guy, man. Just, um, always been cool. Um, even allowed me to come and minister at, you know, at their church several years ago, man, it was, had a dope time, man. We, we church too. We had a good little time. So Larry, man, definitely good people and always, um, always consistent. Yeah. And um, I want to bring in somebody else that wants to say hello. These people just keep calling in. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Oh, What's going on? There it is. What's How going you doing, sir? On, Joshua Trick Reed. master. <laughs> who, who are you and what do you have to say to the young man today? I got a whole lot to say, but it'll take up your whole show. <laughs> because I am Larry Jones' understudy. I stayed quiet and sat under him. And he pushed me out there. And I thank God for you, man. I think he never aged. He still looked the same when I was in high school. <laughs> I was a junior in high school in 1993 Woo! when I met Larry. Just told your business, yep. Doc. When I met him. <laughs> and the blessing, the crazy thing was, he, they put me on the front row, and I was trying to understand why. I didn't know the words to the song. They pushed you out there. He Larry would go off on us, but guess what? We was better when we got done. We was called Baby G. We was called Baby G, and we are lady. We are Larry's kids, like Jerry's kids. We're Larry's kids, <laughs> and I appreciate you, man. Javon, man, thank you for doing this. Uh, uh -huh. I took over. I took over after Larry passed the baton, and I did That's it right. for seven years. And I That's thank right. you, man. To this day, man, my uh, CD single going to release next month, and it's because Yo. of you, man. It's you. Wow. It's you. That is you. awesome, man. L Larry love you. And, and stay with you us too. Second, Pastor Josh. Larry is definitely influential because he's got people just calling all through the show. Hello, caller. You're on the really? air. And what do you do? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say to the Dr. young Dr. Finley? <laughs> Dr. Bishop, 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 Bishop. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. I am a mere janitor in the house of Christ. You understand me? Come on. <laughs> you got to have the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute, somebody. Hey. <laughs> Listen, Listen, I just want to say, I just want to say, Larry, you, know, you was on with uh, for me last week, man. I had to jump on this opportunity. Dude, I, uh, love you, man. I love you so much, man. You, you know, you, you, you fam, you the other man. I remember when I came in, like I was sharing a little bit last week, and, and, and Larry, he was, uh, it was so funny because Larry, you, you were, it's like I could tell you were a friendly person, but I could tell you meant business too. And so it's like, <laughs> it's like I'm approaching him like. Hey, it's Larry Jones. At the same time, I'm like, hey, it's Larry Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, don't, don't, don't come, don't come too quick now. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't pan out too much. But, uh, but yeah. So I remember, uh, I remember. Uh, 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 I think it was the yeah, it was, it was we were preparing for ten, and I think this was like a day or two before the recording. <laughs> and Ricky, of course, you know, he getting himself together. So Ricky, I think it went to his office or something because we was the, we was the Ebenezer. Went to his office field. So Larry was getting us together. And we just having a good time just chilling and playing in song. And Larry was like, now look, Dr. Dillard might not be in here, but Larry Jones is in the room. What y'all gonna do is be quiet. He might have all this time and this stuff. <laughs> Mike had, I think we was gonna do some time that um, uh, Mike had a good do. Uh-uh, stop the track. Yo, what y'all gonna do? Dr. Dillard may not be in here. And what y'all gonna do is be quiet. <laughs> And that's when I was really like, oh, oh, let me go. Uh... <laughs> 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 I 
I appreciate you guys coming and sharing stories about Larry. You know, not too many people. Oh, okay. you know? oh Lord. Yeah, you coming through who? Hello, caller. You're on the air. Who are you? That's work. my friend right there. Hey, DJ. What's up, man? <laughs> Look, y'all not gonna get beat looking with this COVID disaster <laughs> hairdo I got going on right you now. You see, we all got on hats. Honey, honey, take off that hood, BJ. Let me see Absolutely it. Take it not. off. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, see that? That's what you're gonna get. The devil is a, a slew foot ball face lie. <laughs> BJ, look, what you know about I'm, it? I'm Dexter sent me the link. Dexter Walker sent me the link. Y'all know y'all. Everybody know I love me some Larry Jones. To me, Larry Jones is Chicago. Yes, he oh. is. He's he that is. voice and that tone. Can't nobody sing like Larry. In in, in to me, nobody. Can't nobody do it. I'm, I'm I almost want him to do his own record. That's just it's, me though. It's coming. And look, when 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 uh, Larry called me and said, "Bring the choir, I come, <laughs> baby," and they and that they, is a rule. That's a rule. And he, and he rips my church apart every time. You well, you That's got to because you can't go to True Holiness selling a fool. Never. They're all gonna laugh at you. Never, never. <laughs> that is a rule. Anybody, if Larry Jones gives you a platform, you better make haste to get there. Yes, <laughs> yes. Just trying, I mean, just trying to tell somebody. Legendary. Legend, legendary uh, director, legendary singer. Um, I love you, Larry. VG, I thank you, man. You, you, you are, man. You are. You just don't know. You inspire me as well, because you, you're resilient, man. You, you, you're resilient. Every time I see you, it's always some kind of new innovation. Your choir is always innovating something. It's. I watch you. I watch you from afar in Vegas. I didn't get a chance to see you. But I was there when you sang. I was in the back when y'all sang in Vegas. And listen, it's it's you're not you're not about the pop of circumstances. You're not you you're not one of the dudes that have to be seen or anything like that. You get up there, you do what you're gonna do. You right. the same V the same VJ they see on stage is the same one they gonna get when they see you walk in the hallways. And that, sure I, 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 can, I can appreciate sure that about you. Um, before we, before you go, BJ, I got one more thing that I wanted to just share with everybody, if you don't mind, while everybody was still on here. I want to give my testimony right now. Are we serious right now? I just... That ain't me. Who that? What? <laughs> hey! <laughs> there go Dexter. Dexter. Hey, Dexter. All right, BJ. Go and then what's going on, Barry? Dexter. What's up, Dexter? Wait, first what's of all, up? back like this ain't my show. I got something to say to Larry. Larry, I don't... Y- yes, sir. God, hold on, hold on. I'm on the line, caller. You're on the air. Who are you? <laughs> Andre. Disconnect. Disconnect. Larry, <laughs> hang up. Larry Jones. Hang up. <laughs> Larry Jones, this, this is the day that the Lord has. Hang up. Made. Javon, it's the wrong number. Lay down the wrong number. <laughs> not the wrong number. I'm not going to play with you today, Larry. Hey, can we celebrate? Hey, can we celebrate this man doing such a wonderful job? Yeah. yeah. Listen. Larry, happy birthday, man. You know, 28 more, 27 more days, yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. All right. Listen. The, 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 the big 5-0, man. Woo. The big 5-0. What? What? Big Come on, big man. Big 5-0. <laughs> What's up, Walker? Looking like you're 30. What's up? <laughs> That's right. Nobody wants to talk to you, Andre. Nobody wants to talk to you. Hey, Dexter, man, what's going man, on? Man, nothing. I just wanted to <laughs> just celebrate you, tell you I love you. And um, man, I, I thought when I think about you, I think of a servant's heart, and that's exactly what you have. And uh wow. I just commend you and I, I look up to you, man. No. That's my guy. I will always love you, Dexter. You 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 are such a your heart, man. 
anybody that knows Dexter knows that he loves everybody. He supports everybody, and he's always yes, he's, he does. He's always been that yes. way. He's he's the nicest he's, person. He's just you know from his see Dexter and I. I've I've known Dexter really longer than he's known me, because me and his uncle were good friends. You know, <clears throat> me and his uncle was good friends, and we're talking back from the days of there was a church on 111th Street called Mount Calvary. Ooh, and this was this was back in the day when Mitty Collier was there and Alicia Harris, Lisa Joseph was there. And this when the choir stand was split on both sides. Yes, sir. And 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 I was my parents went to uh, Book of Persons Church, and I used to come with with that church to 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 Mount Calvary. And I tell you, it was they used to come on the radio with a song called "Victory Shall Be Mine." Yeah. And so Dexter was a little boy, and Lindsay, you know, Lindsay was singing with James Chambers. This was years ago, and I met Lindsay, and Lindsay told me years ago that his nephew, he said, "My nephew gonna be the the next director in this city," and and Lindsay Lindsay told me that, and it didn't, you know, it didn't click on me till years later when I saw Dexter, and I remember what Lindsay said, and I was like, you know what? Lindsay didn't lie, baby. He's wow. his nephew has has made an impact not only in this city but across this work. country. Yeah, across this country and and Zion movement. I applaud you for everything that that you do and and your choir. I was so happy to see your your video the other day when you put your choir together and y'all yes, did uh, lift them up. I was I was like I was in my house banging my head too. <laughs> lift them up. <laughs> you know, but I, I appreciate you for coming on, Dexter. You you know no I love problem, you. You know you, you know you my guy. No problem. Uh, thank you, uh, Dexter, also for helping bring in some of these surprise guests for Larry today. No uh, Andre, if don't nobody else respect you, I do. What? Thank you, um, thank you. <laughs> how how long have you been knowing Larry? And give us one real good Larry story before you go. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been knowing Larry for. Oh wow. 25 years and a good Larry story is Larry always calls me and tells me when I'm doing too much on social media. <laughs> calls me, tells me, don't put another post, don't put another late picture. <laughs> I mean, he rides me hard, y'all. He be telling me how late my pictures are. <laughs> <laughs> but but do they be late, Andre? Do they be late? <laughs> They be bright early. <laughs> they be late. Their pictures be bright late. Early. They're bright early. And then he'll go get people telling me that my pictures are late to some type of words of encouragement. So uh, <laughs> I echo the words of Dexter. Like Larry uh, not only is a silent anointed killer, but uh, he has been one of the ones that I've watched for years in the background. And, and now that I share a stage with him and I respect him in his office, uh, alongside Ricky Dillard and even within his own church and his ministry, uh, he's just a par excellent servant of the Lord. And so I just salute a man that I am so uh, grateful to have a, been a, able to cross your path. And wow. not only are we friends, but we real good friends. And so yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and all I want to see is success. Let it be your portion. Let it be everything that God's intended it to be. Um, real, real quick, Larry, when you finally do decide to put out your own project, is it going to be pretty much, or can we go ahead and slip out today that all these people going to be on it? Yeah, I, you know, I'll put everybody on there. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. Because Steve Park, what's going to happen is I'm probably going to put my choir back together so Josh would be there. I'd be throwing yes, sir! <laughs> number two, Stephen Anderson. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Stephen Anderson will be writing my songs, number three. Dex will probably be director. Andre's going to take care of getting my water and my towels. He's going he's gonna to get my water and my towels. And, uh, 
I'm the so I'm the water boy, huh? Okay. <laughs> but hey, I, he's hey, hey, I'm hey. A, Andre seems too good to be getting some water, man. I'm gonna get you an outfit made, and everything. Whatever I'm wearing, you gonna wear the same thing. I'm, it's gonna have a different outfit. Your sleeves gonna be different, though. I'll put some I'm on your be, sleeves. I'm gonna be male Adrenas. <laughs> you gonna be male Adrenas. She gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, Andre, I'm gonna get you some big I'm cups on your now. sleeves. I'm gonna get some big cups on your sleeves. <laughs> Give me some cufflinks now. Wow. Give me some <laughs> from from cufflinks from uh, '92. Yo, baby. I'm, and, and then and then on your shirt, right down the side of your shirt, it's gonna say "Past the Crittenden." Baby, it's, it's gonna be beat. It's gonna be beat. It's gonna be beat. <laughs> Y'all got to make sure he got an upright piano so he can teach the songs from. <laughs> an upright. Oh, upright piano. Not a keyboard. An upright. Because upright. Upright. when he Imagine. look over that piano at you, <laughs> I'm telling y'all. And then I'm just going to have James bring all his kids, and that's going to be my fan club. That's that's going to be, you know, we're going we to put all James' kids down in the front, you know. <laughs> How many kids he got? About six now. Baby, James got about twenty-five kids, honey. He get baby every time I look up. I was like, how many kids? Baby, he get ready to start. Baby, James said, I'm not gonna be bothered with y'all. I'm have my own choir, my own musicians, my own lead singers, all of them. The Levites. I love James so much. Uh, all these wonderful people out here. Andre, thank you so much for coming through today. I really appreciate you. I love you, you Andre. I love uh, you, too. And then we also had, like I said, we had uh, Mr. James Finley. James, thank you so much for coming in and supporting today. Yes, sir. I love you, Larry. I love you, too, man. All right. And then we also had um, the one and only Pastor Josh Reese. Josh, thank you so yes, much. Yes, sir. Today. Love you, man. Cool. Um, Elda, Stephen Anderson, the man, the myth, the legend. Yes, I sir. appreciate you so much for coming on today. Man, I love you, Steve. Thank we'll you, talk man. soon, man. Love you too, man. Thanks to go. Okay. Wow. So, that, was, that was something. We did a little something today. I appreciate that, Javon. I yeah. appreciate that, man. Now, for, for real, for real, the thing I was going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Is that as a very, 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 very young man growing up at uh, Great New Mind Eagle, we talked about this a little while ago. Uh, mm -hmm. I loved music and uh, didn't have a real ability to sing it, to teach it, to play it, but I enjoyed it. And what I appreciate about you is that you didn't uh, give up on me, uh, mentoring me. Uh, supporting me in my dream of just being involved with it. So it was um, your leadership as our choir director and minister of music, whatever your title was, I didn't know I was young, um, but whatever you did, you did it amazingly well. Um, and you inspired people like me, you inspired people like um, Carlisa Rogers, who was on the line and had to drop off. So she wasn't able to come in and say hi to you, Montez. Yeah, hey, Montez to say hi as well but um it was you, you did so much for people like us and uh, i just wanted you to know how impactful that was even when you came and did my workshop in uh what that central illinois in bloomington that yeah. one and, um just amazing amazing uh just nice and you don't find many people like that who have assistant choir master titles to just be yeah. now so yeah. i appreciate you for that um, before no we go, and we are definitely over the time, I'm going to get to some of my questions because I do still have things I wanted to know about okay. Larry Jones. That's cool, man. Do you get to pick out what song you direct or is it assigned to you? He just, you know, <clears throat> oh, the thing about uh, Ricky is that he'll just, he'll, he'll just say, I want you to do this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, he don't really tell me what it is. He don't give me any heads up. He is, you know, he'll just say, Jones, do this for me. And that's just how it is. And he'll give it to me. And uh, I'll study it. And then that's it. Have you ever gotten a song and said, nah, bro, that ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Never. You don't say no to Larry? Never. I mean, to Ricky? Okay. Never. Never. I mean... For for me, it's all in it's all of the 
the interpretation of a song. I mean, you could take any song and make it work, but you have to know, like I used to tell the choir all the time, it's not what you sing, it's how you sing it, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, every any song that he's given me to direct or sing or whatever, somehow or whether I've already, I've always made it work. <clears throat> do you get to have creative freedom in the song or do you have to go by whatever the writer or producer is giving you? So what Ricky does a lot of times is he'll give, once he gives us the song, he'll give us a, he'll say, okay, this is what I hear. So he'll give us like a sketch of it and he'll say, now I need you to fill the rest of it out. So pretty much what you hear, every song that I've done, every song that I've recorded, every song that I lead, you know, pretty much that's all me. He's given, like I said, he gives the skeleton and he'll mm -hmm. say, you know, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I wanted to kind of cater to work, you know, try to make that work. And so he'll gives it to you and you'll go and you'll you'll do it. And most times we'll go back and just let him hear it and say, well, this is what we've come up with, you know, A, B and C. And he'll say, you know, I like it or either say do something else with it, you know, or whatever the case is. But pretty much you have creative freedom to kind of do you know what you want you go to a lot of places and sometimes you'll go to a concert and maybe they don't know that that's larry jones assistant choir master have you ever gone somewhere and heard a choir do a new g song and it just cringed like is there a song that people just mess up uh <laughs> hey you know there's I'm not gonna say they mess it up. New, you know, new. Most of new G stuff is fairly simple. Most most of the songs that we record is pretty much church choir friendly. And what I mean by church choir friendly is you could take a new G song and and not even be able to sing mm -hmm. or not have the proper three part harmony and still pull it off. You know. So I've I've heard choirs do stuff and and in my head I've been like wow that's a different interpretation but I can't <laughs> say <laughs> I can't say that I've heard anything that just made me go made me cringe because most of them I believe they try their hardest they try their best and they give it their best shot you know but you are tired of hearing more abundantly though right come on you can be honest. You know, we've been singing that since song 1990. since, since yeah, since, well, actually, before then, because we were singing that song uh, before we even recorded it. So this mm. was so more abundantly. Let's see, we recorded that in 1990. So mm -hmm. we were singing that song in '88. So we have been singing that song two years prior to us even recording that song. So. So yeah, you definitely got you definitely tired of. You ain't got to say it. You definitely tired of. I um, mean, you know, it, it, it's it's one it's one of them things to where it to me it never gets old. You know, and especially Ricky tries to he tries to keep it innovative. He tries to you know change it and swoop it around. So we he's tried to add some different things to it and make it different. And um, yeah, but I'm Miracle Whip or Mayo. Uh, mayo. Do you eat pickles? No. Cilantro. Well, it, it just depends. It just depends. So, yes and no. Cilantro, absolutely. Black jelly beans? No. Pineapple on pizza? No. Sardines? No. Oysters? Yes. Sushi? Yes. Candy corn? No. We only got 20 more seconds. Vienna sausages. Uh, maybe. Don't know why they eat Vienna sausages. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yes. Mushrooms. Yes. Liver. Uh, no. Bologna. Fried bologna, yes. With cheese? Yes, sir. Glory to God. Black hey. olives. Yes, sir. Green olives. Yes, sir. Blue cheese. Yes, sir. Fruit cake. No. Spam. Ah, uh, nah. Cabbage. Yes, sir. Potato salad. Yes, sir. Eggnog. Yes, sir. Black, black coffee, no sugar, no cream. No coffee, period. Anchovies. No. 
Grits. Yes, I had some this morning. Cheese. With cheese, that's sir. Sugar. No sugar. <laughs> Sour crap. <laughs> yes. Pig's feet. No. Coleslaw. Yes. You have gone through the lightning round. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> and congratulations <laughs> on this project, man. I, I listened to wow. it as soon as it came out at midnight. I went through all yeah. the videos. Um, I even went through all 15 minutes of that um, song with the evangelist of the ad libs. Um, Lillian, um, and I, I, I woke up my house when the choir started walking off stage. I said, "Yeah, that's that's what I imagine happens. That's what I imagine happens." That he was like, "You know what? Let's just let's just go. let's just go. Let's just go." But love Lillian, um, and we love you, um, Bishop Larry. I'm looking forward to your Thank season. You. Project again. I'm going to go back and listen to the album as soon as we're done here. For those who want to get in contact with you, what is your social media? Um, you can find me on, of course, Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, Dr. Jones five two eight. You know, I'm on Twitter. I don't know what that Twitter account is, but I'm on there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, pretty much that's all, all those social media, <clears throat> and pretty much that's the quickest way to get to me. Because all those social media sites are connected right to my phone. So whenever you hit any of those locations, it comes directly to me. So excellent. We appreciate you. Love you. Uh, congratulations again. And keep the great success going um, with the Grier. And when Ricky retires, we look forward to you taking over. Larry <laughs> New G or, or New L. Me and him, me and him both are gonna retire. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. And then we'll let Elder Steven uh, just take it from there. Uh, there you so go. thank you, Larry. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining the Javon Show today. We appreciate Larry Jones for joining us as well. You all continue to take care of yourselves and each other. Get a little bit